Hey, Pastor Joe here. Glad that you take just a moment to listen to this uh, announcement via uh, this, this video. I'm putting the same announcement out in a, a uh, email as well to all our church members. But it's to basically let you know that we will not be having services this Sunday. We were in a meeting last night where we announced that we were. But uh, as I also stated last night, this has been a very fluid situation. So we, we're staying on top of it and prayerfully making decisions as, as we get these announcements. But uh, a little while ago, the governor of Texas, Governor Greg Abbott, announced that uh, uh, there was a statewide public health disaster. In fact, this is the first time in probably 100 years the state of Texas has done this. And so we're going to stay in keeping with that, that, that announcement. Uh, they did basically promote the idea that no meetings of more than 10 people and they were very specific about anywhere any meeting so we'll 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 comply with that at this time i want to encourage you though to join our live stream that we do on facebook uh, it's pretty simple just go to facebook.com and log there in in fact if you, you say well i don't have a facebook account well when it asks you to log in just at the bottom of that little dialogue box there's a it says not now and all you have to do is just click that and then go to uh, to our website. Uh, in fact, the best way to do it is facebook.com forward slash, slash bfchurch.tx. So bfchurch.tx on Facebook, you'll find us there. And uh, at 9 a.m., we'll do a live stream of a service, which will just be me and the praise team and some production crew together. And we're going to have a glorious celebration time and reach out to you in a digital format. Now, if you don't watch the 9 a.m., it's posted on Facebook, so you can go back and watch it, say, if you want to watch it 10, 1030, or however you want to watch it. But I would encourage you as your pastor to do this. Uh, treat it like you were sitting in a church service. Uh, once you've located the service, you get online with us. Uh, be sure and hit like or share or whatever you want to do to let people know that you're there. You can comment as well as not comment if you don't want to. But we encourage you to comment if you're watching us live. If you're watching recorded, put down a like on it as well. But while you're watching, treat it as though you were sitting in service. Get your family together if you're with loved ones and watch it that way. We can join together, if not physically in a worship service, we can certainly join together digitally in this service and spend some time worshiping. Uh, sing with us, amen with us, shout with us, praise the Lord with us, pray with us when we pray, and enjoy this service as we join together. So just treat it like you're, you're in church. Don't miss it. I think it's really all important that we do join together on Sundays, even if it's digitally this particular Sunday. Uh, let us know you're watching. Since Hurricane Harvey, when it was the last big disaster we had here with our church, we've been live streaming. And we started with just an iPhone, duct tape, and, and a chair in, in the service. Since then, we've come a long way with high-definition broadcasting and credible digital sound systems that, that create a, a very good product for you to watch. It's very high quality. So visit us. After that time or during that time, you can also visit us at our church website. And I do really want to em emphasize the importance of your giving during this particular time. So go to the bfchurch.com, go up to the top tabs. There's a place that says give. Just click that button on give. It'll open up another page where there's a big yellow button. I think it is at the bottom of the page that says donate. Click that and it'll take you through a, through a few steps of filling your name, your address, and you can give from you however that you feel led to give that. You may have a PayPal account. You can use that or you can use a credit card. Or you can just use your bank and check account number there. So it's a secure place uh, to make a donation to the church. So let me just summarize a few things. No services taking place at either location, March the 26th, possibly the 29th. Check back with us. We are broadcasting a service at 9 a.m. It'll take place at the Magnolia campus. We'll be broadcasting from there. So we'll broadcast it. No lift groups will be meeting the next two weeks. So no Sunday lift groups are gathering together at all. No Bible study groups are gathering the next two weeks. Uh, the no Wednesday evening services for the next two weeks. The men's retreat that's scheduled here the, the next weekend after this, uh, we'll not be hosting that. We're moving those dates down the road a little bit. We'll let you know about that. If it looks like those dates will not coincide with your personal schedule, the refunds will be made available for that, even if it said non-refundable. So we'll take care of you there. The most important thing, folks, is this is an hour in, in, our, in our nation where there's so much fear. And uh, this is our opportunity to minister to people that you see on the streets, you talk to uh, at the drive through window if you're going to get something to eat. Or, but uh, in your community, in your neighborhood, as we practice this social distancing, don't let it keep you from being a witness for the Lord Jesus Christ. 
there's so much opportunity here. I can't even begin to describe it. Let's use this as a platform for ministry. Check in on each other. Check in on your loved one. Check in on your parents, your grandparents. Uh, check on all those of you in our church that, that may be more feeble than others. Let them know you love them. Reach out and care for people. Don't wait for somebody else to tell you to do it. The Holy Spirit will speak to your heart. So do it then. Just trust, believe, be strong, have good courage. And let's see how God turns this into revival in the, in the long run of this thing. So trust God together. I love you and more than I even know how to say, but let's press on and be gloriously strong for Christ in this hour of desperation. God will use us all. It's in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. I love you. God bless you.